We leave this newscast with breaking news, a chaotic scene in Tacoma where police responded to street racers and a police cruiser hit someone in the crowd. Our Tony Black is live in Tacoma. So Tony, what happened here? Yeah, good evening to you, Vanessa. There is still a very large police presence out here as they continue to investigate. We actually just got an official update from the Tacoma Police in a press release about 30 minutes ago. But the bottom line is here is that a Tacoma police officer in his cruiser ran over someone tonight on these streets. So here's what happened. Earlier tonight, videos began appearing on social media that showed a large crowd at the intersection of 9th and Pacific here in Tacoma. Several cars can be seen doing donuts and other dangerous moves. And by 645, Tacoma police were called with reports of hundreds of people in the street and vehicles in the intersection. And that is when things changed dramatically, according to witnesses we spoke with and the videos. And we want to warn you that what you are about to see is graphic. So we have blurred the video again as it is graphic, but you will see a Tacoma police officer or Tacoma police vehicle on the left roll over someone with their front and rear tires. Again, it is not clear why this person was on the ground, but we spoke to two witnesses who say it was clear to them that this officer had run someone over. About the time I turned the camera and noticed what, what was going on, you could see him kind of lift up on his front, go over the first or go over, you know, on his front tires, and then uh, kind of figured he was going to stop, and then he just kept going, saw his back tires go over him, and and you could see the person under the car actually turn oh, from yeah. the tire going over towards the back. Now tonight, the interim police chief sent this statement again, just 30 minutes ago, saying, "Quote: I am concerned that our department is experiencing another use of deadly force incident." I send my thoughts to anyone who was injured in tonight's event and then committed to our department's full cooperation in the independent investigation and to assess the actions of the department's response during this incident. Now, again, the presence, as I mentioned, the police are still out here. There is also a crowd off in the distance that has been here since we arrived, that they are still here. Very, they're, they're shouting and shouting out the police here. Now, it is noted as well that the police in the release did not have an update or any other identifying information about the possible victims. Vanessa? So, Tony, that video is, is hard to watch, but was there any indication that that police officer behind the wheel felt threatened at all? Well, in the release, they did note that the officer was felt fearful for his life because of the crowd that was around him and said he was unable to go backwards so that they went forward. The witnesses told me, again, as you might have heard in that soundbite, that initially the officer kept going up the street before he ultimately did a U-turn to then come back and try and check on the person that had been hit. But the crowd kind of swarmed around them and wasn't able to do that. But both said that they were just simply shocked to see that the officer kept going. So there's still a lot of questions here, and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. For now, in Tacoma, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News. Tony, thank you.